All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your very own named ship inside of the game, because they just released the captaincy update, how all of that interface works, and what you have to do after that. So the first thing you have to do is click on play and go to adventure mode. And in the center here, there should be a big old button called my ship. So when you click on that, if you've already got one like I do, it'll show you the ship. It'll show you some of the different information about the ship. And then if you have other ones that you can play with, you can then click, you know, on the arrows to go between them. But I need to purchase a ship. I'm going to purchase a Brigantine. This one's 375,000. The basic sloop's 250,000. And the galleon is 500,000. And then I'm going to name this the Flavortown Express, because I can. And then I will say yes, give that bad boy a purchase. Now, once it's purchased, you don't immediately load into that. You can select between your ships. You have the option to sail the Brigantine, which is the option that would load into the game using this boat. And then we could set up all the different, like, you know, crew options and everything. We can restore the boat. So in the case of my other boat, if I go back and select my ships, I can go to um, my Yggdrasil, and I have some damage to the vessel. So I can click Restore. And it'll restore my ship based upon, like, my, you know, all the gold that I have. And now it'll be all nice and pretty, because when you take damage in the game, it stays between play sessions when you have things saved. Although right now, certain features like decorations have been unloading, even though you save them, which can be a little bit annoying. You can also rename the ship if you pay for it inside of the cosmetics shop with real world money. Kind of annoying, but if you accidentally bork up the name and you have some extra gold, you can just dismantle the ship and then start over from scratch. You will lose all your progression and milestones and designer trinkets from that ship, but sometimes that happens. But instead, we're going to go ahead and go back to our brigantine, and we will go ahead and sail that bad boy. We'll just say close crew for right now. So yeah, that's how you create your ship, and then the next one I will go ahead and show you how you can decorate it. So once you're first loaded in, you'll go through the initial tutorial where the Pirate Lord will give you <coughs> sort of the gist of how all of this stuff works, but in case that's a little bit confusing, I will show you here in this video. So now, decorating your ship is into a couple different categories. The stuff you physically place in your boat, along with the decor that you can select from your chip customization chest. In this case, I am going to select some of the new Wrecker stuff that I just started messing around with, because I think it looks cool. So we'll just go ahead and select all of that. And then we will go with the Wrecker sails. Throw on the steering wheel. And then also throw on the cannon, smoke, and everything the usual that you would go through in this process. However, the problem is to get this so that this stays on your boat in between sessions, you actually have to go through and go to each different subsection, hover over the one that you wanted to keep, and then hit the number one or whatever button it is on the Xbox and pay a little bit of gold so that this is in fact saved to your ship. It is kind of annoying that you can't just, you know, set and forget without having to pay every time you want to save a preset, but you have to do that for each individual item. Eventually, it would be nice if they would give you the ability to just make a bunch of changes, calculate your sum total, and then save it for later. A save it for later button would be excellent. But you can go through, and you can save all of these as a preset. And then if you want to also get the achievement for saving these all as a preset, because you're an achievement hunter, you need to go to the top of your crow's nest, and then you also need to set one of the flags. You don't have to pay to set that as a preset. The other thing you can do is you can set the internal ship decorations as you unlock stuff between your different boats, and this is all across all the different boats. You'll be given the option to load in and save different internal decorations, like the curtains, the table, the sailor ship crest, the rugs, and all that stuff. And you can kind of see all the different categories that you can change up here at the top. And they will eventually add more of these as things go along, along with different titles that you can unlock as you do things while you're on board your ship. The other thing that you can do 
is you need to talk to Shelly. She's got a new setup here inside of the ship's customization. You can purchase external decorations, internal decorations, and my favorite, the trinkets. Now, starting out, you might think to yourself, Larry, you don't have any trinkets unlocked. How are you going to show me how this works? Well, if you scroll all the way towards the end pages, oh, I do have a couple new things that I've unlocked. Um, you will be able to see some of the stuff that comes pre-made in the ornamental section, where you can buy things like barnacles to put on the wall, rib repositories, broken bottles, a rack of plentiful holding, which is just like a, a rack of stuff that you can slap on the wall, boots, beds, like cufflinks, collars for your pets, potted plants, glowy stuff, all that things. Okay, once you've got all of your ornaments that you want to use to decorate your ship, just go down below, and then you'll look around inside of your ship for places that you can set different things. Right here, you can see it gives me the option to place a trinket, so I can place, like, my little bonsai tree, and that'll be right there. Sometimes up on the walls, you also get some options, like you can set up a knife hand death grip up on the wall. Actually, that's more of a shelf. You can also put a little decorative ship. We have a shelf up here where you can place quite a few different trinkets. I'll put some bottles. Gotta have a place to store my hat. And I can also put, like, spare collars for, like, your pets and stuff. Now, the other thing that you can do as you're decorating your ship is you can actually let your friends help you decorate your boat with trinkets that you might not have actually unlocked yet. To do that, you go to Escape, you go to My Crew, and up here at the top, Captain's Permissions. You can allow other people to customize your ship inside of the crew. Do note that this will change, allow them to change the outside and the inside, so just be very careful that you don't leave this turned on when you go into open crews with randos. You can also turn that off right here. And from there, you can just enjoy decorating your ship, putting all the different decor like on the walls. Like I can place some of these glowing bottles, which are my absolute favorite thus far. And you just kind of have to go around each different ship to find out where there's places to put different types of decor, to make sure it looks interesting. Because each ship is a little bit different and it sounds like as you level up your ship, you also gain additional places and allowances to put more decorations inside of your boat. So take some time, make it look really schnazzy, and enjoy your adventures on the Sea of Thieves.